Welcome to a special edition of the FA Show. I'm Allie. In this episode, we take a look at the biggest moves of the first quarter. Advisors' appetite for change and BD's willingness to pay up for top talent has not waned, with transitions continuing at historic levels. Coming in at number three was the nearly $700 million team known as Penwealth Planning. Led by financial advisor and CEO Lisa Policare, the team exited LPL Financial and joined up with Ameriprise. Based in New Hope, Pennsylvania, the team also includes advisors Gerald Barlow, Pat Trauger, Frank Policare, and Christopher Kelly. The second biggest move of the quarter came early in March, with Joel S. Bodner and N. Mark Harwitz leaving J.P. Morgan for Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. The pair, who managed $730 million in assets split between Long Island and New York City, generate $5.25 million in annual revenue. I'll be back with the biggest move of the quarter after this short break. This week, we share an excerpt from Advisor Hub CEO Tony Siriani's interview with Bill Williams and Pat O'Connell of Ameriprise. The three discuss advancements in technology across the industry, as well as the value of investing in new advisors to build entrepreneurs. You can download the entire conversation in the Advisor Hub TV section of advisorhub.com. Crisis season 30 years. We've seen recessions in 30 years. And I, I've always seen that true financial advisors and firms that are anchored in good values tend to do really well on the other side of those things. Clients start to realize that they can't do it themselves and the cheaper options uh, might not give them the best possible advice. And so they come back in droves to their client and really appreciate the value that an advisor brings. And from a recruiting standpoint, we saw a pullback early on in the pandemic as people were shifting remote and wondering what this was going to be. As it leveled out, Pat and I have seen very, very strong recruiting environment. We brought on about 90 hires in the fourth quarter, which is a good quarter for us. And and we're looking at another great quarter to start this year. So I, you know, uh, uncertainty still creates uncertainty in terms of whether it's the markets or clients or a business, then you're trying to run it on the long term. But at the same time, we're growing leaps and bounds and people are coming to us. I'm feeling really good about that. So, so Pat, that's got to give you some confidence going forward, you know, feeling the same way. And, and uh, look, we, it's time to earn our pay, right? When things are, when things are uh, goofy out there, it's when you need an advisor the most sometimes. Yeah, Tony, I agree. And I, I would just build on just a couple of things that Bill shared. Number one is, um, you know, I, I think some of the decisions that we've made um, over the last number of years and last couple of decades have paid dividends. You know, one of them that I can think about as you're asking about recruiting is, just having multiple platforms and multiple way to, ways to affiliate with the firm. You know, there is there is still quite a bit of movement out there, but depending on where someone is in their career and uh, what they're interested in doing, what their skill set is, um, you know, whether it's having a, an independent platform or a branch platform or a, a platform that has advisors and financial institutions, I mean, you name it, giving people choice, I think, is, has really helped us. Uh, and again, that's not just the last couple of years. That's decisions that have gone back, you know, a, a number of years and a number of decades. And the other thing I would just uh, say is, and this is, I think, incredibly important when it comes to, you know, whether it's a conversation we're just having right now on recruiting or it's, you know, how you serve your clients. You know, the pandemic definitely changed the way that we had to think about, you know, running certain parts of our business. But what didn't change was we had been making very large investments into our technology for you know a number of years and that allowed us to not just pivot within 48 hours to everybody working virtually really seamlessly but it also allowed us to you know to still continue to recruit at a high level and bring talented people over um, and i think you know again looking back on the some of the decisions that we made and having the, the financial resources to aggressively invest in the business including you know into the technology we put out there for our advisors has helped us to uh, continue to build on the momentum we had going into the pandemic Welcome back. We wrap up our rundown of the biggest moves of the quarter with the number one slot. The biggest move of the quarter sees Rockefeller again adding to their roster. The firm has been on a roll since early last year, picking up Merrill Lynch advisor Brent Hablitzell and his team in February. With $850 million in AUM and $8 million in annual revenue, the Greenwood Village Colorado practice is another feather in the cap for Rockefeller. For a complete list of recent moves, as well as access to the Advisor Hub Offers tool to find out what your practice is worth, visit the Deals and Comps section of AdvisorHub.com. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of the FA Show on Advisor Hub TV, powered by 3X Equity. I'm Allie. Have a great day.